Celtic Myths and Legends by T.W. Rolleston. The Celtic religion. The god of light. I used to uh, go to a house of worship. Uh, it was called Masjid Nur. So the, arise, the place of horizons to the god of light. Of course, the god of light was not considered as a separate god versus... It was considered as the only god, also known as god of everything. But anyways, uh, other cultures did have that idea, but some people said, oh, well, there's different ones. So all the prophets of God were always, were, seemed to get the, or they could have gotten the thing, oh, you're making all the gods one. It's like, well, um, anyways. The god of light appears in Gaul and in Ireland as Lu, Lugus, Lugus, okay, who has left his traces in many place names, such as Lug Dunum, Leiden, Lyons, etc. Lu appears in Irish legend with distinctly solar attributes when he meets his army before the great conflict with the Formian, with the Fomorians, they feel, says the Saga, as if they beheld the rising of the sun. Yet he is also, as we shall see, an entity of the underworld, belonging to the side of the mother Ethlin, daughter of Balor, to the powers of darkness. And that's another rather interesting reference. But, um, the positiveness is probably the chief thing that people are going to refer to when they refer to, uh, deity. Um, and positive and best, positive one best in Damaniakas Vama, Zo Sos, Zo Sos is the, uh, Zazas. Uh, uh, Zazas. Okay. Um, and it's interesting, the word for the devil has, is, uh, has the word uh, for... has five in it. So... But and anyways... Um, 